こんにちは、アイです。Hello, my name is Ai. I'm a Japanese mom who lives in Southern California with my two girls and my partner. In this video, I'm gonna introduce Japanese home cooking. Keywords are easy, simple, yummy, and Japanese. はい、えー、じゃじゃーん。いちご。ね、いちご。春はいちごの,あの季節ですね。ね uh, strawberry t a s t e good in spring. And I'm from Tochigi Prefecture in Japan. Tochigi is famous for Sweet,、uh, very yummy strawberries. And using strawberries, today I'm gonna introduce how to prepare strawberry shortcake, everybody's favorite. In the United States,、uh, strawberry shortcake means、uh, biscuit, biscuit with、uh, whipped cream and strawberries. But in Japan, it's a little bit different.、Uh, we use the、uh, uh, sponge cake, and sponge cake. Japanese one is very、uh, special. It's fluffy, soft, and moist. So,、uh, strawberry shortcake consists of three parts、uh, sponge cake, whipped cream, and strawberry. And、uh, add a simple syrup, simple syrup to、uh, avoid the dryness to the、uh, sponge cake to get dry. So,、uh, actually, four parts、uh, sponge cake, whipped cream, strawberry, and simple syrup. syrup. There are two ways to prepare sponge cake. And first one, first one is a、um, whole egg. You don't separate the egg yolk and egg white. Whole egg whip. And that one is more challenging because you have to control the temperature of egg. And second one,、uh, separate egg white and egg yolk and first whip the egg white and add egg yolk. And I'm gonna choose second one because it's easier. You don't have to control the temperature of egg. And、uh, ingredients are very simple. I try to make this recipe as simple as possible. And、uh, ingredient is just、uh, egg, sugar, flour, and some butter. For the sponge. Very simple. And important thing is a good preparation. Before you start cooking, prepare、uh, everything. I'm gonna, I'm gonna demonstrate how to prepare, pre prepare and prepare step by step.、Uh, usually, my video is、uh, not detail oriented and very brief, but today I wanna be very careful and guide you. <laughs> guide you and do it together because I want to learn too with you.、Mm. And then three things.、Uh, first, uh, before you prepare the、uh, sponge cake,、uh, shift the flour more than twice. It's very important. And,、uh, and then for whipping, whipping the、uh, eggs,、uh, whip a lot. And third,、uh, when you fold in the flour, you You do it very gently and carefully.、Uh, I will show you how to do it very nice and gently. So, let's see how to prepare Oshi strawberry shortcake. If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe and share with your friend. Also,、uh, I started a new blog, English blog, and it's called、uh, Healthy Japan. And I talk about the secrets of、uh, long life and healthy life of Japanese people. So please、uh, check it out. It's、uh, myhealthyjapan.com. Myhealthyjapan.com. This is the recipe for six inch round cake pan. And for the sponge cake, we need three egg yolks. So egg yolk, egg white separate. Three egg whites. And 80 grams of sugar, granulated sugar, 80 grams of flour, and one tablespoon of butter. For simple syrup, we need four tablespoons of sugar and four tablespoons of water. For whipped cream, we need one quart of heavy cream and 40 grams of sugar, and we need 12 strawberries. Fresh and sweet strawberries. And today we are using 6 inch、uh, round cake pan and 3 inch height. And line the cake pan with the parchment paper. And for the preparation, we're gonna shift flour at least twice. Uh, make sure at least twice, and so that the sponge cake's texture will be really good.
And now let's prepare sponge cake. And today we're gonna use stand mixer, but you can use the hand mixer, electric mixer too. And place that three egg white and 80 gram of granulated sugar. And we're gonna beat the egg with high speed. We're gonna beat the egg white with high speed uh, till the uh, white, white egg becomes a soft peak, not hard peak, but soft peak, as you can see from this video. It's not hard peak, but soft peak. And you're gonna add three egg yolks, and again, beat with high high speed eggs mixture gets fluffy whitish and it will become three times in volume and at the end switch to the low speed and rip another one minute one minute more it's for the uh, uh for the great texture to finish with great texture and now we're gonna shift in half of the flour. It's already shifted, but when you put in flour, shift, and you just press half amount. And this is very important. Uh, using whisk, fold gently, but thoroughly. And you rotate uh, a ball in one hand, and then, uh, Folding gently, like a uh, drawing the J shape, or in Japanese, no shape, <laughs> and scoop out from the bottom and fold in gently. And the mixture, egg mixture, getting uh, nice and shiny. and add shift in the rest of the flour and repeat that process and again with your one hand turn around the uh, bowl and other hand uh, folding gently from the bottom to up like drawing that j shape And now add the butter, melted butter, one tablespoon butter using the spatula. And repeat the process, uh, mix in, fold in gently until the, uh, the mixture gets shiny and very smooth. So repeat the process from the bottom, fold in and try to draw J shape with the spatula. <laughs> and once the uh, mixture becomes shiny and silky and smooth, um, it's ready to bake. And we're gonna pour the mixture into the cake pan lined with a parchment paper. And we're gonna drop the uh, cake pan onto the table. <laughs> The purpose is to remove the bubble in the uh, uh, mixture, cake mixture. And then we're gonna bake in preheated 350 degree op oven 
for 25 to 28 minutes. And while we are waiting, let's prepare strawberry. Uh, we need 12 strawberries and six for whole. Uh, six we're gonna use as a whole and the rest cut into half. Six whole and then the rest we cut into half. And make sure you uh, wipe off the excess water from on the strawberries. So strawberries are ready and now let's prepare the simple syrup. Simple syrup, uh, the ratio is 1-1. One, one. So 4 tablespoons of water and 4 tablespoons of sugar. And mix well and microwave for 90 seconds. And simple syrup is ready. So now let's prepare whipped cream whipped cream and make sure you place the ice water under the bowl and purpose is that to avoid the separation of cream if you don't place the ice bath under the bowl uh, cream whipped cream can get separated later so make sure you put the ice and one quart of heavy cream and 40 uh, gram of sugar and whipped into soft peak. Now it's time to assembling. So after 25 minutes of baking, it's ready and you can check doneness with tooth toothpick. Insert that toothpick and if nothing comes out, uh, it's ready. Uh, remove from the pan and then with parchment paper on, uh, flip over, so upside down, and wrap with salon wrap. And then wait for about one hour till uh, the cake gets cooled down. And after one hour, uh, ready to cut. So after one hour, remove the plastic paper and um, parchment paper. And we're gonna cut into half and you can use that toothpick, toothpick, toothpick to cut it into half. So place the toothpick in the center, in, in between center. And you can cut right above that toothpick and you can uh, cut into half nicely separate the uh, two parts and you, we're gonna brush the uh, simple syrup. If you have a pastry brush, it would be nice, but I don't have, so I just spread the uh, simple syrup with spoon. If you have a brush, it's better. So you spread the simple syrup both surface of both uh, uh, cake, both parts. and spread the whipped cream on one surface. Spread evenly and we're gonna place the strawberries, strawberries that you cut in half. And you don't put in the middle, 
because when you cut if you have a strawberry in the middle it's hard to cut and spread another layer of whipped cream over strawberries and then place the second uh, second uh, cake sponge cake over the whipped cream then place another layer of whipped cream over the sponge cake and the how to decorate is uh, it's up to you like usually they we put the cream on the side too but me today I didn't do it because uh, it gets messy I'm not so good at uh, decoration so just stop but it's up to you and for the uh, decoration uh, please whip whip white cream more and then place in a piping bag place in the whipped cream in a piping bag and as you can see uh, make a six no eight eight uh, decoration like a shape and in between place the whole story and it looks cute and when you cut strawberry uh, shortcake uh, it's easier if you uh, heat up the knife with uh, hot water in advance then it's easier to cut and also strawberry shortcake tastes better after one day you make and then keep in the fridge for one day and it gets more moist and tastes better after one day and this is a small shortcake I use a six inch pan so small cake and cut into six pieces strawberry shortcakes are my daughter's favorite and I make all the time but I never try to uh, make proper way I used to make my way so today I learned so much now I can make a better strawberry shortcake thank you